As power struggles intensify in the ruling party, ZANU PF has called for an urgent Politburo meeting on Wednesday. The party's acting secretary general, advocate Jacob Mudenda, announced that all members are expected to attend the meeting on Wednesday, July 24, 2024, at 10 a.m. at the ZANU PF headquarters. Although Mudenda stated that the primary agenda would be to provide an update on preparations for the 44th SADC summit, Sources within the party indicate that the power struggle between Emerson Umningagwa and his deputy Constantino Chiwenga will be a significant topic. Over the weekend, Mutz Vangwe gave an interview to The Standard, where he publicly opposed Chiwenga's takeover from Umningagwa, advocating instead for Umningagwa's successor to be elected. Former Norton MP Temba Mliswa has claimed that Mutz Vangwa harbors presidential aspirations which is corroborated by Mutz Vangwa's consistent criticism of Chiwenga. This internal conflict traces back to the 2017 coup led by Chiwenga, which ousted former President Robert Mugabe and installed Umningagwa as the leader. The original plan of the junta promised that Umningagwa would serve two terms before handing power to Chiwenga without an election. However, Umningagwa's supporters, including Mutz Vangwa, seemed to be reneging on this agreement. Mutz Vangwa, a staunch Umningagwa ally, has openly stated that Chiwenga should face an election to become Umningagwa's successor. In a recent interview with The Standard, he asserted, There is no godly anointment in ZANU-PF. ZANU-PF is not a church where people can be anointed. The president is not the Pope of the Catholic Church or the Archbishop of Canterbury, who anoints priests. He emphasized that all political aspirants must abide by democratic principles, saying, Everyone who goes into politics and has an ambition to be a leader must play by the rules, especially of a revolutionary democratic party. That's why the president was very clear, saying, I will not usurp the decision-making powers of the people of Zimbabwe or the membership of ZANU-PF. I will retire. Mutz Vangwa further compared the ruling party's processes to religious organizations, arguing that ZANU-PF operates democratically, unlike churches where leaders can unilaterally appoint successors. ZANU-PF is not Makandua's church where he can have himself, his wife, his kids, and his followers say this is my church. President Umningagwa is an elected leader of a revolutionary democratic party. He concluded, this power struggle within ZANU-PF raises questions about the future leadership of Zimbabwe and the party's commitment to democratic processes amidst internal rivalries.